Welcome back to Cinema Flix Music Picks. I'm Davy, your host with the most, the beast with the least. The least I can do today is apologise to Elvis Costello. Um, he was in the running, not just for my top five, but to be my number one record of the year for the first part of the year. But then so much came out and so much that I caught up with. Unfortunately, Elvis, you've been knocked out of the top five. Again, Apart from the top five that we'll come to towards the end of the month, none of these are in a particular order, so this doesn't mean this is, you know, my 29th favourite of the year. Not at all. In fact, if anything, if it was a top six, this would probably be six, because this is a sublime record. Um, it is The Boy Named Diff by Elvis Costello and The Imposters. And there's no imposters in here whatsoever. Everything here is legit and authentic. It is easily my favourite Elvis Costello record in decades and decades. Um, probably since Brutal Youth. Um, and I think chart-wise it's, it's the best uh, chassing album that he's had since Brutal Youth as well. Um, and I've liked some of his albums in the interim a lot. Um, Delivery Man, wonderful. I loved the album The Roots. Um, unfortunately, his last release last year, the Hello Clock Face, was terrible. Um, just made me wonder, like, oh, was Elvis losing it? Mm. Oh, no. No, he was saving it, he wasn't losing it. And he saved it for this. This is sublime. This is just... Uh. Um, on here, you get 13 tracks, which take you through the gamut of Costello. You get early stuff, sounds and I mean, the tractions, obviously kind of kind of evolving into the imposters but you get early stuff like it could be on one of the early attractions records could be on armed forces or whatever um, you get stuff that sounds like it could come off of uh, almost blue king of america um, and then you get some stuff that's kind of new and there's kind of twisted carnival sound to um to a couple of tracks um, with kind of dark calliope uh, sound to a bit like tom waits in in, in a way, um, cool murder ballads uh, and, and uh, the difference, for example. But overall, and I'm not going to go into too much depth because I did a full review, and I mean a full review, it was over half an hour of this box and this uh, album. Overall, this is just sublime Elvis Costello, and again, something for everybody on it. Um, I mean, Farewell OK kicks it off with that kind of rockabilly um, garage rock stomper. Um, the boy named Diff, the title track is just sublime. Brings in the kind of classic um, organ sound. But, um, Penelope, Hapney, Penelope Hapney, again, sounds like it could have come off of one of the really early records. My Aim is True, even. Um, the Difference is one of the murder ballads it was referencing. Uh, then you get to, well, what if I can't give you anything but love? Which, that's how you do, uh, that's how you do, uh, uh, kind of love song but done still in a rock and pretty fuzzed out heavy guitar rock style um, with the uh, I recall the moonlight falling on your face you're all that I adore what if I can't give you anything more now you'd think reading those lyrics that would be done in a maybe a very quiet almost acoustic way no it's done in a heavy fuzzed out guitar fashion which is wonderful it's a great juxtaposition um, it's a wonderful way to to do these things um, and that's followed by something that is more gentle and acoustic so he's following a ballad with a ballad but completely different um, and this is Paint the Red Rose Blue so what is What If I Can't Give You Anything But Love was a ballad done as a rocker this is a more traditional ballad um, and Paint the Red Rose Blue is just <laughs> um, it's just gorgeous um, think Donovan's Lalenia, you know, Lalenia, can't blame ya. It's got that kind of vibe to it. Um, Elvis sings in a beautiful low key style. Um, and it's just. <laughs> the words that came to him, both the lies and the threats, they all, they all arrive, all arrive too easily. But they ran up some debts, that's what I'm feeling at the moment, to be honest, trying to describe this. <laughs> um, um, turn the red rose, paint the red rose blue. 
what was he to do but paint the red rose blue? It's just gorgeous. It's just an absolutely insanely gorgeous ballad. Um, yeah, I mean, I could go through them all, but again, if I can stick a link in, in the description and the, the comments. Um, the man you love to hate is brilliant. Magnificent Heart, oh boy. Oh boy. Um, the Death of Magic Thinking's got a very Ray Davies light lyric to it. Um, and in fact, Mr. Crescent sounds like Mr. Pleasant, so maybe that's where the re-influence comes from as well. Um, and this edition itself is the uh, collector's one that Elvis was selling him from his website, where it comes signed by him. Um, and it gives you every track with not just, let's just jump in, not just the lyrics, but you get a short story to accompany each one, a fable as he calls it. So it's 13 songs, 13 fables. And boy, he's as good a short story writer as he is a lyricist. It's acidic, it's funny, it's dark, it's mysterious, it's beautiful. It's Elvis Costello's best record in nearly 30 years. What more is there to say? So again, um, I'll pop the other video on there, but you can see me with my very long hair down to, down to, down to my breasticles. Um, and uh, that was well before I'd figured out YouTube, and it was just... Anyway, enjoy if you watch it. Um, but yeah, at joint sixth is Elvis Costello and the Impostors with the boy named F. If you are an Elvis Costello fan, and even a lapsed one, this is the one that should get you back on board. Doesn't matter what kind of us still a fan. I think there's something for everybody here. So maybe you won't like everything, but I guarantee you there's something for you here. I guarantee it. If you're an Elvis Costello fan, there's just no way you're not gonna find something on here. There's no way, otherwise you wouldn't be an Elvis Costello fan. But at the same time, it doesn't sound like he's gone, oh, I better do something retro. Clock face didn't go down well. Doesn't sound that way at all. Never comes off as let's just do a classic sound and uh, you know let's just knock one out that the fans would like. You know an ACZ one. Never seems that way. It's as crafted and as gorgeous as anything is released. Um, yeah, beautiful, beautiful, sublime. I'm kind of talking myself into putting it back into the top five. <laughs> but um, yeah, Elvis Costello. Bless you, sir. Bless you. Anyway, stay very safe out there and uh, love and mercy.